Hey guys, it's Kaylee. It has been a while since I have done a keywords series video and I know that you guys really find them helpful. So I wanted to pop on today and do a really quick keywords video. This keyword series is dedicated to giving you five keywords each video. I will go over the keywords, what they mean, and give you a visual example. That way when you are listing items, you can plug these keywords into your titles to give them more meaning and bring the right kind of buyer to your listing. All right, let's jump in. So these first two, I really wanted to focus on style aesthetics, and both of these I think are trending right now. So the first one is called hobo chic, and the term hobo kind of implies what you think it means. So it's kind of bohemian, sometimes distressed, very disheveled, and not well put together. A lot of times I find this word particularly useful when I have items that are distressed and they are not supposed to be. For instance, I recently sold this leather jacket, which I put within the listing hobo. I put this word in the listing because this jacket was extremely faded and it was not manufactured that way. But there are people looking for this kind of aesthetic. And so I wouldn't recommend going out and looking for really, really worn down items. But if you take a quick Google search and look up the style, you will quickly see some things that you can look out for. In particular, when it comes to hobo chic, I really like looking for men's items in jackets and boots. I find that both of these things are very trendy within this aesthetic. Moving on to a very different aesthetic, this is called minimalist. I tend to use this word in my titles whenever I have something that is neutral colored, pretty basic, but it is a quality piece. And people looking for minimalist items are often looking for quality materials, sometimes sustainable materials. So reused or organic cotton, linen, flax, materials of that nature are really popular in the minimalist aesthetic. Minimalists are often looking for pieces that they can put within a capsule wardrobe. And a capsule wardrobe is basically um, a lot of neutral colors, which can be interchanged within different outfits, and they all kind of go together to make a bunch of different outfits. So oftentimes, if I have a minimalist piece, I will also put capsule in my title as well. This can be a great way to dress up a piece that is otherwise pretty basic, pretty bare, and really doesn't have a lot going for it. It's really all about how you market the item. Next is one that's pretty basic, but I wanted to throw it in here because uh, you're gonna see a lot of it during this time of the year, and that is waterfall cardigans. So waterfall refers to the way the garment drapes while it is hanging on a body. So the waterfall is kind of that cascading material that is draping down and gives it a waterfall look effect. I don't really find that waterfall cardigans are super popular right now if they are in a regular length, but when it comes to duster cardigans, ones that are longer than normal or they hit the floor, waterfall can be a pretty popular trend that people are looking for. It's definitely a very specific uh, keyword, so make sure you are using it properly. Next is going to be the word tapered, and this mainly refers to tapered jeans. So tapered is going to refer to the leg of pants or jeans, and this is a trend that a lot of people are searching right now because they're looking for that mom jean style. Typically, you are going to want to look for this within a vintage style. So if you're looking for vintage Levi's or really any kind of vintage jean, tapered is really going to be a great keyword to plug in because this is the style that people are looking for. So if we're looking at a tapered jean, usually the ones that you want to look for are high-waisted where they actually taper at the waist and then the legs also taper as they come to the ankle. And all that tapering really means is they start to come closer to the body and narrow in. A lot of people like this look because it is very form flattering. You can also use this term for sweatpants. If you have a pair of joggers, you might want to use the word tapered because that does describe the way the leg is going. Tapered, I feel like in the last year, is a highly, highly sought after feature. So make sure and include that in your titles for all kinds of pants if you do indeed have a tapered leg. And last one I wanted to share with you was a contrast cuff. 
Now there are a lot of brands that I think are pretty popular within some of their pieces for contrast cuffs. And in particular, right off the top of my head, I, I think of Robert Graham for men's items. And then I think of Free People Thermal Knits. And those are both pretty different because Robert Graham has the flip contrast cuff and Free People just has the regular contrast cuff. So all contrast really means is that it is significantly different than the rest of the garment. So it really stands out. A lot of people are looking for this term, again, particularly in Robert Graham shirts and Free People thermals. But if they're looking for that style in Free People, you can also pick up some really great dupes for Free People in thermal knits with the contrast cuff. And you can get the right buyer to your listing that may be looking for a Free People item with a just a regular normal brand if you include that term contrast cuff in your listing. Contrast cuff is really great when it, like I said, it's paired with a flip contrast cuff or it's paired with a waffle knit thermal. So keep your eye out for contrast cuffs. This is definitely um, a great feature to look for while you are just running through the thrift store. Keep your eye out for a contrast cuff, even if you're not going to go through every single rack in the aisle because you may be able to cherry pick a really great piece. Some of the Free People thermal knits pre-owned can go for crazy amounts of money depending on which contrast cuff you do have. So make sure and do your research if you do come across a piece that is a contrast cuff. And then same thing with the Robert Graham shirts or really any shirt that frequently has a contrast flip cuff. Make sure and do your research because again, some of those particular prints are extremely rare and can go for more money than the other ones. All right guys, so I think that about does it for me. That is the end of today's keywords video. Again, the purpose of these videos are to educate you and just kind of go over and reinforce some keywords that you might not be thinking about to plug into your listings. Using the right keywords can make a sale happen a lot faster than if you are not being super specific in your titles and into your descriptions. I do have a playlist dedicated to the series, so I will link it somewhere up here if you'd like to check out the other keywords words videos that I've already done. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you do get notified when I make these videos. If you've learned a new keyword that I haven't gone over, make sure and drop it down in the comments below. That way we can learn from each other. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.